Hey, it's Matthew with a few things that are new for you in Planning Center. We've made some upgrades to the process for requesting events in Calendar. So when you need to schedule an event, it's easier to request the things that you actually need. And if you're an admin, it's easier for you to review the request and get ready for the event. Let me show you how it works. Okay, here we are on an event request form that we've made for our sample Centerville Church up here. And like I said, there's a few new things that are going on. So let's go ahead and just start filling out this form and we'll see those changes that have been made. So we're gonna put um, membership class here for the event name. Uh, that's what we're gonna be working on here. We've got our, our dates and times and we'll just put in a little description, learn about our church. And that's just the, the simple basics up there. But now as we go down further, we start to see some new things. One thing is we can have some optional fields depending on the answers that I put. So for this, if I do, is this a recurring event? If I put yes, now all of a sudden I can uh, have these extra fields where I can uh, describe when this is gonna recur. This one is not though, so we'll just put no for now. But for this next one, is this on campus? I'm gonna select yes. And now I've got some new options um, for what I need on campus. So I don't need any help setting up. But now these next two, another new thing is you now have the ability to select what specific rooms and resources I actually want for this event. Um, very cool thing. So let's go ahead and select this B101 for my classroom. And then let's, uh, we're gonna need some tables, make sure we have those in there and we're gonna need some chairs. So we can make sure those specific things are gonna be um, available for us and we'll put in how many people are coming. And there we go. So I'm gonna go ahead and submit this event request form. And just like that, I have asked for these things that I'm gonna need for this membership class coming up. Now let's go ahead and see what this looks like on the other side um, for the person who's gonna be reviewing this. So let's go ahead and swipe over to the admin side of Calendar. And right here, um, I can see that this request has already been submitted. And if I wanted to, I could just go ahead and click it from here. But I wanna show you something else that's very cool. There's this new automations tab. This is one of the other um, new updates that have been made. So when we go over here to automations, we see we've already set up a couple of these. Now you can set up automations to run at two different times. One, right after somebody has submitted a request, so like right now. The other one you can do is after that request has actually been approved. So we have one set up to whenever somebody submits a request with this form, it adds a task to review that request. A handy little thing. So I've set this up to give that task to me. So if I go over here to the sidebar, I've got my tasks with me and already it's automatically created this task to review the event request. So if I click on that, actually from here, it has a link for me that will take me directly to that event request. I can close uh, that sidebar and now I'm here and I can go ahead and make sure that this has everything that it needs. I'll go ahead and um, Let's see, select classes for this tag, and then I'll go ahead and just apply. I'll look at these rooms and resources and I'll go ahead and apply those. And once that is done, I save those changes. Yep, that's what we wanna do, that all looks good to me. Now I can go ahead and approve this event. And go ahead and do that, make that official. And so now we've had, um, an event that's been requested, reviewed, and approved. And there's just one more thing that I wanna show you with the automations and what you can do. So to do that, I wanna go back over to the form. So let's go to events, go back to our forms, and then down here, the San Diego events is the one that we're working with. And over here on the automations tab, that's this other automation that we've set up. Now this one is for once a request, is approved and what's gonna happen is it takes the person who requested that event and it puts them into a workflow over in Planning Center People. We've got a really cool workflow set up over there that will help connect the person who's done this request with the actual facilities people they're gonna work with to make sure they are all connected and in tune and are gonna be able to take care of all the things that need to happen as they prep for that event. So just another cool step that you can add to these event request forms to help everything really work well uh, for everyone. And that is what's new for you in Planning Center. To see what else you can do across all of our products, go to planningcenter.com.